Hi, I'm Danielle Matus at Caring Medical. Almost every day we get patients that either come in or potential patients that call and ask about pain that they still have um, after meniscal surgery and what do we do about it. What we know from research about meniscal surgery is that in patients where the meniscus is repaired, where they've actually tried to save as much meniscal tissue as possible, those patients are twice as likely as the general population to develop osteoarthritis in 10 years or within 10 years. <clears throat> in patients that have men meniscectomy, where they actually remove part of the meniscus as part of the surgery, those patients are actually six to eight times as likely to develop osteoarthritis within 10 years. So, as you can imagine, it's not uncommon for patients to have pain years later after these surgeries. In those cases where patients come in, they've had the surgery, they still have pain, one of the first things we'll do as part of our physical exam is actually do an ultrasound exam. And I have an example of this behind me where we're actually looking at the meniscus, the MCL, the ligament that lies over the meniscus, it's actually attached to it, and see what we find. So here, these kind of bright white lines down at the bottom of the screen, those are your bones. Okay, so those are your tibia and your femur, and then in here, this kind of triangular shape, that's your meniscus, and then these kind of bright white lines over it, that's your MCL, that's your ligament tissue. So for starters, we'll look and see, okay, what's the space here? What's the space between those bones? That's called the joint space. Is that meniscus popping out or is it in line with the bone? This is an abnormal image in that the meniscus is popping out where it really should be more in line with that bones here. So already we know that they have some sort of meniscal injury. And then these ligaments here, this white tissue, you see this kind of black area? That's abnormal as well. That's a sign of cell death, you know, or tissue dying, what we call ligamentosis, degeneration of the ligament. And that's just a, a kind of a, a, what we call a, a static image where the patient is staying still. What we will also do with our ultrasound exam is we'll apply some stress to the knee and see basically if those bones are separating, if they're moving more than they should. What you can see here, same patient, is the space at rest was 4.2 millimeters, now it's increased to 7.6. So by applying that stress to the knee, that joint line is essentially gapping and opening up three plus millimeters. That is very significant. If that um, space opens up one millimeter, the pressure on the inside of that joint goes up by four times the amount. So you can imagine how much extra pressure this patient has in their knee just because it's separated by three plus millimeters. What we can also see on the ultrasound is you see how the meniscus kind of pops out here and then it kind of falls more in line. So it's actually sliding back in the joint and then popping out. And the reason why that would even happen, why this would gap and why that meniscus would pop in and out is because this ligament, again, is supposed to stabilize those bones, hold them together, help hold that meniscus in. If it's lax, if it's this stretched out rubber band that can't do its job, these are what's gonna happen. This is so incredibly common to see in patients post-meniscal surgery. I would say almost every single patient, if not every single patient, has some degree of this years after meniscal surgery. And again, part of it is because, you know, if they've removed part of the meniscus, you know, things have just gotten worse, but also meniscal surgeries don't address your MCL. So not only are you more likely to have arthritis after meniscal surgery, if you have you know, chronic instability that was never addressed, you're also going to have maybe chronic pain, chronic instability, even further the arthritis for that reason. This is another example of a patient who had undergone meniscal surgery and came in and they still had meniscal injury. They have this part of this that's popping out, that's extruded. And again, when we open up the knee with valgus stress, you can see how it kind of reduces back. Again, this is an abnormal finding. We see this all the time in patients with chronic pain post uh, meniscal surgery. In these cases where patients after surgery, you know, are left with this chronic pain, this chronic instability, their meniscus kind of still popping in and out of the joint, 
those patients often do very well with a combination of prolotherapy and even PRP, platelet-rich plasma, or even stem cells in more advanced extreme cases to work on restabilizing the knee and working to regenerate tissues that have just kind of been injured and disintegrating over time. Injections into especially this MCL and, and around that uh, medial meniscus are very effective at working to heal the injuries that you see on this screen.